Mayong aga sa tuntanan. Morning. Kag ako nagakalipay sa liwat nga dungan kita magatuon sa pulong sang Ginoo. And it is a privilege na magi magkaupod kita. Sa pagpadayon natun mga mo na kita. Ginoo kami nagapalapit sa imo with a humble heart with a uh, Asking forgiveness sa mga sala, you know. Salamat kay intagaan mo kami liwat privilege and worthiness para, you know, makasam, makasimba sa inyo. O oh, man, you know, nagpakita agad nga ikaw gin nagpotek sa amon throughout the week. Ikaw gin nagatag sa amon-samon kinanlanan mo, you know. So, Lord, bless us today as we hear your word and as we study your word. Ikaw gin naman yung mayaon pa. Salamat sa nan. Jesus name. Amen. And amen. And last week, uh, nakita natin kung paano si David gin-anoint as the new king. Kagamuman, sa pag-anoint sa iya, nagapakita din to, nagkakaupon ng ginoo siya kag-give success kay David, kay Goliath. And so today, ang ato nga message Gin entitled as God's chosen king pursued yet protected. Kagulan tawo natin sa First Samuel chapter two verse nine or oh, beginning from verse eight. Sang first ko tinga nagwali sa Samuel. Ginambal ko ang prayer of Hannah this chapter 2 is a table of contents ng book of Samuel. And ang baldiris sa verse 8 that he raised up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with this with princess and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and on them he has set the world. Verse 9, he will guard the feet of his faithful ones but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness for not by might shall a man prevail there is a chapter 18 verse uh, chapter 18 to 22 makita natin that david uh, the lord protected david from his adversary and his enemy and so there is a chapter 18 to 22 makita natin that the tormented life of the rejected king made him to pursue david but trusting in the Lord establishes the paths of his chosen king. The tormented life of the rejected king made him to pursue David, but trusting in the Lord establishes the paths of his chosen king. Kagamuhin na ang inambal sa 1 Samuel 2, verse 9. He protect, he guard the feet of his faithful ones. Again, we learned from last week that David was the new anointed king. He won over Goliath. And we learned that it is the Lord's battle. It is the Lord's battle. He fought through his anointed. The Lord fought through his anointed and chosen king. Ano ka na? May pamati. Ano nga ang ginoo? Nagapatong nga para sa atun. Nagahatag sa atun kakusog. Sa tunga sang kabudlayan, sa tunga sang hindi nami nga sitwasyon. So, may aragin pakita ang table talk ng article, no? Ngayon pangalan at sa table talk ang article nila, We are now living in the age of skepticism. And, hambal dito sa una pa lang a phrase, Trust is the one, uh, trust is one of the most fundamental components of everyday life. In our family, in our relationship, inside the church, we exercise trust as means by which we flourish. And someone says, without trust, there is no human life. However, sa ato nga chimpo subong, daamu daw, there's no. Trust Today is now the basic problem, man. We live sa pagsalik sa isa kang isa, pero ang problema man sa bunga tsimpo, ang aton nga, salik sa isa kang isa. 
with doubt sa ka isa kag isa. Again, oh, kung may relations, may relationship ka, no? Maginagyan ka mo, ma-doubt ka na sa mo sa, sa aliksi niya. Maginagyan ka mo mga problema, no? May utang sa simo. Hindi ka na magsalig sa iya. So it is now the basic problem without without sa isa kag isa and sa anuman nga bagay. Labi na gid sa nag-abot ang pandemic. Mag-shake hands ka, may covid ka. <laughs> may kapang alcohol ka na without Dini mo mask? Wala akong mask na. So, kada encounter ta tawo, gadoubt na kita sa home. Basi, uh, may ginasipon ka, mga muna. So, ginpakita sa buong at simpo, nga ang trust niya, ang, ang doubt na itong sa isa isa, naging reality na dito. Sa so, muna yan, ito, arat lang sa hangin, nagalupad-lupad. Pero sa buong visible na. Kag there is a chapter 18 to 22 sa 1st Samuel. David know the Lord was with him pero he doubt sa Ginoo. Nagdoubt siya sa Ginoo sa tunga-tunga. The Lord protected him pero may ara sa desperate moments nga nalagyo siya. Pero sa tunga sa nga itong nga doubt, sa tunga sa nga itong skepticism subong, only one man produce a trustworthy action. He helps us to trust in Him fully and for His glory. Again, in chapter 18 to 22, without David trust, he will not cherish God's protection to him. Kung wala sa nagsalig sa ganoon, hindi ang makita agin protectionan sa sanginoo. Kag nga protectionan sa sanginoo, may ari diri problem no si Saul. He became jealous. Siya ang king sa una, pero in chapter 16 nakita natin that si so uh, si, si David was the anointed king na. He became jealous, double-minded, suspicious, fearful. Why? Because the Lord departed from him. And hindi nga problema, nagka-continue. He considered David as his enemy. Ginakonsider niya man nga patsyon si David. Kaya nga, ah, threat si David sa iya nga kingdom. Precious nga kingdom. Precious nga desire niya sa kingdom. Threat si David. By the, th- by the time the Lord departed from him, mga ini nga karakteristics, mga ungodly character, nagduel kay Saul. And meron kita tatlong kapunto sa buong adlaw, no? Of how the Lord establishes the path of His chosen king from His enemy. Una again, the Lord gives success to His chosen king. The Lord gives success to His chosen king. Chapter 18, Again, oh, from chapter 16 to chapter 17, he was the anointed king. The Lord gave success to him over Goliath. Kag diri sa chapter 18, nagapadayon iya nga success. It is overflowing, it is flourishing. And not only he achieved success in his life, people also loved him. Israel loved him. And these things, hindi alam, ang hindi nga bagay, why ag in-achieve by His own. By His own strength, by His own mind. Yes, He won every battle. Yes, He won every war nga giniyagin katuan. Work nga ginhatag si Iya. But He achieved all these things because the Lord was with him. So good pala no? as soon verse 1 as soon as he finished speaking to Saul the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as his own soul and Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. 
Then Jonathan made covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Kagulat na wanda pag it's a verse 5. And David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him. Verse 14. And David had success in all his undertakings for the Lord was with him. Kag sa verse, last phrase ang verse 30, David had more success than all the servants of Saul, so that his name was highly esteemed. Why did he achieve success? Why did David achieve success? And how did, David, and how did the Lord give success to David? Because the Lord was with him. Gabi no? So sa una nga success ni David, he went out and was success, says, verse 5, successful wherever Saul sent him. So, so that Saul set him over the men of war. And this was good in the sight of all people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. So si, si, si David, gin, ginbutang ni Saul sa tunga asang war. Kagakita sa mga katawan na sing ginoo sa Israel, no? Siyempre, nagdawag sa Higulayat, ano pang ibutang siya ni Saul? Dra ka, war ka. And sa so verse 9, As they were coming home, when David returned from striking down the Philistines, the woman came out. Ining woman, nagkanta-kanta, no? Ang mga babae sa, sa gate pa lang siguro, nagabinantay na sila, nagkinanta sila, pero hindi ko lang pagkantahon ng kanta, no? Saul has struck down his thousands and David his ten thousands. King ko sa una, ako ang gina-aspire niyo nga king, ang bal ni Saul. Ako ang bakod niyo nga king, pero nga ang ginamun niyo ko na eh. Nga ang kanta niyo. Si David niya ten thousand, ako thousand lang. Imagine na ikaw ang king, ikaw ang, ikaw ang nagahari, no? Tapos imo to yung uh, kumbaga boy mo, imo nga uh, kanang kamay. Siya yung nag-flourish, siya yung nagkakita, hindi yung imo. Anong response ni Saul sa kanta? Kagsa pag kita sa mga katawan sa gino. And Saul was very angry. And the saying displeased him. Nga na ang bala ni Saul? Grabe no? Threat. Threat si David. And so verse 9, ang bali pa daw. And so I, David, from that day on. Makita niyo yung heart ni Saul? In chapter 16, verse... Fourteen, the regi nagsugod sa pag-anoint kay David sa chapter 16, verse 14, Now the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And the heartful spirit from the Lord tormented him. By the time the Lord departed from Saul, naging naging maakigon siya, maging, nag, naging displeasing na siya sa tunga, sa tanan. The Lord departed from Saul. Negative thoughts nagabot sa iya. Hindi lang dira siya ng akid, no? He eyed, naging suspicious pa sa kay David. Ayari ba, tayang ko siya. The next day, the harmful spirit from God rushed upon Saul and he raved in his house. Si, si, si David nagkagitara-gitara da sa kilid, no? Ginkoya yung spirit ka, gin... Hindi iniuna, no? Ginabuya ka spirit niya. Pero grabe, man reflect sa si David, no? Siguro ka nakagamit, nakalanta, siguro matrix. Grabe, yung alit ko. Ikaw, bi, abo yun ka ka spirit. Gagitara ka pa. Kung baga, uh, mga string instruments. Grabe, ikaw ba niyo pa, no? Why did Saul did this? 
Threat si David. Threat si David. Suspicious sa si David. Hindi nagsulod na mga evil thoughts, no? And verse 11, And Saul hurled the spear for he, th- he thought, I will pin David to the wall. And verse 12, Saul was afraid of David. Saul was very angry, una una. And so verse 12, he was afraid because the Lord was with him. Mga kabyan, the Lord gave success kay David. People loved him. Arda mo kita ta, but all Israel and Judah loved David. Una-una, kaya nagpalangga siya, si Jonathan. So, una nga verse, no? Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Kagdiri, Israel and Judah loved David. Threat kaya niya si David. Threat, jealous, na, nagsugod ang kahisa ni Saul. But the Lord was with him, but had departed from Saul. So si Saul, gitira ka kita, rada si, si David, hindi ka natin, hindi ka natin, dito ka na, pero may ka na to, sa to sa guwaya. Magkipag-away ka na to, ah. Pero ano, sa so verse 14, David had success in all his undertakings. Nagagwa sulod siya sa Israel Nagkakakita sa katawahan Sa ginoo All Israel Latin Pero grabe si Saul He stood in fearful awe Of him Threat did niya Suspicious Fearful na siya sa buong kain David Hindi lang Israel nagpalangga kay kay David. Dire si Saul nag-thought na maliwa. Ya, tagguro bata o siya. Gan ko siya pangasawon yan ni mga bata. Ya, tagguro siya bata ko. Verse 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 17, no? For Saul thought, let not my hand be against him, but let the hand of Philistines So yeah, tagya si 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 ang isa ka bata nga si Mirab. Pero wala hindi gusto ang ni David sin o kuya man sin o para maging son in law mo as king. Kita mong servanthood ni, ni, ni David kay Saul, ang loyalty niya kay Saul mas kigin ikaw bino. Ginbuno ay eh, iabuyan eh, niya na spear. Pero ang respect mo siya atas taas. Gindris respect ka na sa king Kung kita na yan siguro Masunggod lang ko yan Hindi na ko din magbalik kaya Saul Takaan ako si Moya kay Habuyon mo pagkit kaya Kasper Kaya gitara lang ko Kung ako yan Hindi na ko ito yung magbalik yan Pero si Saul ah, si, si kita ta si David nagapong ko Gapon sa tubang ni Saul no? Hatagan pa siya ni Saul Sang bata ni Saul Pero wala yan ang pangasawa tungod si Mikal ang nagapalangga kay David. Kagkagina, nagakanta ang mga kataw, ang mga bakababahian sa sa Israel. And sa nabalaan ni Saul nga ginapalangga siya ni Mikal o ni Michael. The thing pleased Saul. Nga, yeah, because Saul thought He thought again, evil thoughts. Let me give her to him, that she may be a snare for him, and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him. Again, palangga ni Mikal si David, kag ginambala man ni David, liwat no? Sin o naman po yan, ha? Pero ginagaan sa kondisyon ni Saul. Ang bagin sugoy ay yan aming sayro, no? Ari ang bala si David, no? Tiki ito sa. Ba't kong gagitara pa ni si David? Pero ang bala niya, yung messenger niya, o tiki si David. Gail ako 100 for skins ang Philistine. Kagihatag ko na si Mikal. Kay Abi, Saul thought, kay Abi ni Saul, 
ang kamot sang Philistines ang mapatay kay David. Grabe nga thought. Because of jealousy, because the Lord departed from Saul, ang muna niya ginapang himo, no? Threat si David. Hambal ni... Hambal ni sa verse 25, oh. The king desires no pride except a hundred foreskins of the Philistines. Hindi lang niya shin pisos, no? Uh, Kwaon mo lang tayo sa bulsa mo, kaya tagal shin, no? Duguan niya. For skins. Sa tunga sa battle, tipunon mo na. Pero ginhatag ni David and Mik- he, he married Michal. His wife now is Michal. Ano naman response ni Saul? Verse 28, But when Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David and Michal, Saul's daughter, loved him. Saul was even more afraid of David. Kaganoy, kagano ang paglantay ni David, enemy. Enemy. By the time the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And even to us no, negative negative thoughts arise. Coming wisdom will surely prevail on us. He even thought evil plans for David. He relied on himself. Gabi no? Saul was too focused about David and for himself and for his kingdom. Sa tunga sang success ni David, sa tunga sang mga nagapalangga siya, ari si Saul. Nagkakainit, ginalaot siya ni Saul. Threat siya kay Saul. And why did Saul become jealous? For he see, he saw, he knew that the Lord was with David. God will bring success to his chosen king and the tormented life of his opponents. Makita, it will always the Lord's battle. It will be always the Lord's battle. If we look on ourselves, how do our Christian life weaken by jealous or envy? Paano kita nag-struggle sa hisa, sa jealousy, sa envy? Kaya yes, siya, nga po, huwag kuha muna yan. Remember, jealous or envy doesn't bring success to God's people. It torments our life. It makes our life miserable. We seek for more. Soul seek for more. Out of his jealous, we seek for fame. No, discontent. That kita. How do our Christian life weaken by jealous or envy? Jealous and envy doesn't bring success, mga kabian. Only the Lord gives success sa atin. Kadua, the Lord protects His chosen King. Chapter nineteen to twenty. Ang story, yata subong very long, no? Pero hindi na ako mag-go into details yet. So, ikatuwa, the Lord protects His chosen king. How did the Lord protect David? There are three people who was used by the Lord to protect David from his enemy, Saul. Again, in verse 29, Saul considered David as his enemy. Continually, no? Nagapadayon, hindi lang subong nga adlaw kundi padayon forever siguro ni nga enemy si David because the Lord departed from him so the people whom the Lord used unaged si Jonathan 
Jonathan, Michael, and Samuel. Saul pursues David in various ways sa the Ringa chapter. Chapter 19. Kag magkita ta sa verse 1 pa lang, And Saul spoke to Jonathan his son and to all his servants that they should kill David. Kita tang problem kay Saul, no? The Lord departed from him. He was jealous. He eyed on David. He was suspicious. He he thought evil thoughts kay David. And they're pursued. Oh, nagit siya kapat John si David. Pero grabe, you know, sa last chap, sa, sa last verse ng chapter 18, David had more success than all the servants of Saul so that his name was highly esteemed. Kilala na ngayon si David. He go in and he go out. Kilala ngayon siya. Nag-aubra ngayon siya, no? Pero, ari man si Saul, pursigido na nga patsyon sa Pero ini si Jonathan, nagka-delighted siya, no? Again, he loved David as his own soul. Nga patsyon mo saya? Mabali, Jonathan. Nga patsyon mo pa saya? Kaginambalan niya pagid si David, palag, yun na to. Patsyon ka sa ako na may. And sa sunod nila, Nagpalagyo si David, nagkanto sa asawa niya, and Saul again, nagpadala sa mga damo, ng army, ng mga messenger, to seek David in his daughter's house. Pero ini si Mikal, alam ano, naug na to, lakad na to, naug na, ano na to, na to sa bintana. Mabot kung paano nakapanawag si David sa pintana. Pero ang bali ang panawag na to, lakad na to. To protect his, de- his husband, David, from his father's scheme. Gabi no, si Jonathan, yan ni una git. Ang bali ang, nga patsyon mo niya si David man. Loyal niya siya si mo. Ginapamatay niya ang Philistine para si mo. Nga patsyon mo siya. Hambal din ni Jonathan, the Lord worked a great salvation for all Israel. You saw it and you rejoiced. Pero nga, patsyon mo ba sa? Patsyon mo lang sa nga, wala sang wala sang may mo masala. Pero deep in the heart of Saul, may ara niya. Ano sa pati Saul siya? He swore, no? He listened to the voice of Jonathan. Drita makita nga, maski he swore, Hindi agad mapungga ng sala, no? Ang bali pa, as the Lord lives, he shall not be put to death. Kag nagbalik si David, ang bali ni Jonathan, balik na din. Kaya story, ako na si Papa ko. Balik na din. And again, sa nakita yan naman si David, sa ito nga, sang, sa iya siguro nga trono, Verse 9, no? Sa chapter 19, a harmful, a harmful spirit from the Lord came upon Saul. Kag again, ginaboya naman ka spear. Kaduha na. Una, dito, sanggat gitara-gitara siya. Ari ko ryaga pao na yun. Nay nalan is David ya. Yeah. Ay, okay na. Okay na, Jonathan. Balik ko na. Kato, da matoon ko guru da nay. Pero pagabot yun to, a harmful spirit. From the Lord. Abo yung tangalo at kispira. And David escaped that night. Kagdere sa ikaduwa nga sitwasyon naman si Mikal, no? Again, kagina si Jonathan, yung protection na niya. Ginagamit siya sa ginoo. Saul sent messengers, verse 11, to David's house to watch him. Until morning. Pero ang ni Mikal, may wisdom si Mikal, no? Ari gini mo imuan niya sa image, si Balinaw na to, laga na to. Kag makita taliwat si Saul, nangakig siya bata, nga agin papalagyo mo pa yan si David. Patsyon ko sa gani, traidor ka sa akon, bata, taka traidor ka pa. 
Ronan Balni ni Mikal. He said to me, Let me go. Why should I kill you? Now David escaped to Ramah. Yabi no, unang ay Jonathan kay Mikal. Ginabala niya pa si Saul. Ari ina masakit siya. Pero si David, yan nakapalag yun. At yan, nakapanawag na sa bintana. Ang bali Saul, patinduga siya. Bring, up, bring, me, bring him up to me in the bed that I may kill him. The image was in the bed. Hindi si David, no? With a pillow of goat's hair at its head. Saul said to Michal, Why have you deceived me? Amo na no, baliya, traidor ka. Ang ganyan ito ko pa ka. Una nga nagprotect kay David, Jonathan. Kaduwa si Michal, aring ikatatlo, Now David went to Ramah. Again, si Samuel nagatinir sa Ramah. Michal was wise enough, Uh, Jonathan tried to persuade his father Pero di rin makita natin Ang ginuo nag-work Ang spirit niya nag-work Saul tries and pursues David To kill him at any cost Nabalaan ni Saul no Na naaug si David sa Ramah Nag, or nagsaka kay the mountain no? sa so, dinagsaka si David sa sa Rama nagpadala naman sa messengers and ang company sa yung messengers nagprophesy no the spirit of God came upon the messengers of Saul and they also prophesied kaginambala nila si Saul imuto mga minsayro nagapap nagaprophesy no so siya Tungod na muna natabo, ang bali ako na lang itong mga ito. Katoon ko na lang ito si David. Ara, ito sa gali. Katoon ko na lang ito sa Samuel. And pag-abot niya dito, and the Spirit of God came upon him as in, and as he went, he prophesied until he came to Nineworth in Ramah. Verse 24, he to strip off his clothes and he to prophesy before Samuel and lay naked all that day and all that night. Thus it is said, is Saul also among the prophets? Ari, si Saul nag-try, nag-e-f, fort nga patsyon gits David. Ang ginuuna nag-medjay. Hindi ini una nga ang pag-prophesy ni Saul, no? Kung lang tawon ta sa chapter 10 verse 10, he also prophesied. Pero iyan nga prophesy is according sa Ginoo kay tungod he prophesied to kill or to 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 win over Philistines. Ari on Baldeo sa verse chapter 10 verse 10 when they came to Gibeah, behold a group of prophets met him and the spirit of God rushed upon him and he prophesied among them. Pero diri, ang spirit sang ginoo nagkatu kay Saul para ipotek si David, hindi para kay Saul, para kay David. The Lord works with David, the Lord was with David. Maski anong effort ni Saul, ang ginoo naga intervene. Wait, kabalo ano gila pang prophesy ni Saul? Pero the Lord with Jake, the Lord intervene. This chapter gives us the message how the Lord protects David as his chosen king. He, frust he frustrates Saul's effort to kill and to murder, murder David. Pero wala din na tapos na. Chapter 20. In chapter 19, Saul effortly pursuing to kill David kag nagapadayon sa liwat sa chapter 20. Kag si Jonathan na naog na kay Samuel na namang po siya kay, Sam, kay, kay Jonathan nga, ginamo ko ni sa kamay mo. 
Ano ginihimo ko? Ano ang sala ko siya nga ginapangita? Ay eh, gina 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 ko ay gusto ay gipaw na kon kabuhi. Diri ta makita sa verses 1 to 3 that Jonathan can be trusted during the times of confusion. David was was confused. Nga a nga a. Kag many scholars no and even pastors siguro they they see this chapter as a friendship no genuine friendship ano pala kung ikaw ang friend no ano ka maging ano ka isa ano ano ikaw bilang isa ka friend no amo ginaila di makita pero the rain na ginapakita sa aton nga Jonathan protected his friend or his 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 uh, iya nga love uh, iya nga ginat consider niya as his brother he will do anything for his own brother David Kamba ni David siya nga ginamo yo ni kag nga uh, feeling mo ka balo ka nga pwede man ni matago sa imo iya ginabatyan The Lord gave them wisdom to judge this situation sa so verses 18 to 23. Pero the race of so verses 4 to 7, ginapakita nila na they are willing to help one another. Kagdaan mo sila naging panghimo, no nga? Aristoryawan ko ako namay, makatukos na na siya. May feast kami. Kung pangitao niya ka nga nag-rejoice, balik ka. Pero kung hindi, akig siya. Alam ba, sa verse 7, If he says good, it will be well with your servant. But if he is angry, then know that harm is determined by him. Grabe, no? Nagapadayon nito yan. Grabe ilang uh, kumbaga brainstorming nila siguro. Planado. Verse 10, Then David said to John, Who will tell me if your father answers you roughly? Ang malalakat, ang padisapang, magwa ito sa field lah. And Jonathan said to David, The Lord, the God of Israel, be witness. When I have sounded out my father about this time, tomorrow or third day, behold, if he is well disposed toward David, shall I not then send and is disclose it to you? But should it please my father to do harm? The Lord do so to Jonathan and more also if I do not disclose it to you and send you away that you may go in safety, may the Lord be with you. Grabe, lak, ari na di ginapadayo na di ni Jonathan ang covenant. If I am still alive, show me the steadfast love of the Lord that I may not die. Verse 16, And Jonathan made a covenant with the house of David. May the Lord take vengeance on David's enemies. And Jonathan, and Jonathan made David swear again by his love for him, for he loved him as, his, as he loved his own son. Amon na nino, are not, tomorrow is the new moon. Your seat will be empty, wala ka sa kananay. Kagong pangitaon ka, or, or dirida, naging pakita nga, are oh, may tatlo ko kabata ang ipadlagan. Ipanaon ko sila kung ara sa likod nila. Or nagaupot sila ang pana. Hindi niya kika ko naman. Pero kung beyond, kung lapaw sa ila, then go for the Lord has sent you away. Verse 3, As for the matter of which you and I have spoken, behold, the Lord is between you and forever. And nagabot ng adlaw, the new moon came, yes, Saul did not say anything that day, for he thought, Grabe na, grabe si Saul, no? Paminsara niya lang. Something has happened to him. He is not clean. Surely he is not clean. 
Ikaduwa nga daw, wala nga kung si David. Yung pamangkot niya ni Jonathan, no? diin na ang son of Jesse. Kagkatatlo yung ginambal nga son of Jesse lang. No? Ang baliyan, wala si David. Verse 30, Then Saul's anger was kindled against Jonathan. Masakit nga tinaga, ginabuya kay Jonathan. Paano yung ginambal kay Jonathan, no? Because the Lord departed from him. Amuna nga nambal yan. He was angry. Gin pala, gin pagwaya si Jonathan. Also, Jonathan, and Jonathan rose from the table in fierce anger. Maski ba, taya, buyo niya na kaspir, no? Tungod lang kay David. Nga threat. He was disgraced by his father. Kag sa pagkaaga, nagkitaay na sila ni David. Kaginhimo na nilang pagpanaas ang bata na, no? Blagan ka mo. Yun pa na iya. Beyond sa bata, yun ang pano. Go! And as soon as the boy had gone, David rose from beside the stone heap and fell on his face to the ground and bowed three times and they kissed one another and wept with one another. Grabe, hindi nga drama, no? Siguro kung galang tao kita yun sa ABCBN, kilala, ginita yun. They wept with one another, David weeping the most. Pat, yung gipiyas ang amay mo. Tutuod git, naging nalagas yun ako. Then Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, because we have sworn both of us in the name of the Lord, saying, The Lord shall be between me and you, and between my offspring and forever. And he rose and departed, and Jonathan went into the city. Si Saul na pursue ni David. Pero ari si Jonathan, ari si Michal, ari si Samuel, nagapatunga, ginagamit sa ginoo para magprotect sa ila kaabiyan. In what ways we put other people down? In what thought we put other people down, like Saul, sa atong mga tagipsoon? We cannot protect our friend, our body of Christ, kung kita nagapanumdum sa iyo kung paano ito sa atong bangon. Nga, why ko mo na yaman? Nga, hindi ko yaman na yaman. Kung amun na gina paminsan, ano? Like soul? We should be like Jonathan, ano? In what ways we can protect our friend, our our co-believers? In what ways we put other people down? Pagkatlo, the Lord confronts his anxious king. Chapter twenty-one to twenty-two, no? How and why did the Lord confront David? Again, tutuod ng ino nga akigit siya si Saul, tutuod ng ino nga uto ng ino ni Saul. Desperate na si 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 David. Why na sa kabalu kung ano yung pangubrahon? Nga ang nauto ni ito. Verse twenty, chapter twenty-one, verse one. Then David came to Nob. To Ahimelech the priest, and Ahimelech came to meet David, trembling. Had Lokman si Nab, asi si Ahimelech no. Nga kagato kadi ka ulang isa. Kabalu si Ahimelech nga siya isa ka warrior. Nga wala ni siya upun yung mga army man nga siya lang isa na kagato diya. Nagbutig si David no. Yung dalawa di siya ino kaya may secret mission sa sa. May mission impossible kung ay mo. Yung dalaya ko diya kay. Secret na namo na. Nag nagbutig po siya no. Nangayo ko sa pagkaon dira. Kag si Ahimelech. Nangayo pagkaon si David ara oh, may may bread ko da, holy bread ang tawag. Ini nga bread gina gina ano nila kay gina ginahalad ni sa Sabbath day no. Kag pagkatapos ano nila simba mo pa na nila pagkaon pero ang bali Gin, 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 gin guba ni Ahimelech ang rule para kay David. Tungod nagbutig si David. Nagbinutig si David. 
Pero wa ay git sa kapalo kung kasi sino sa makadto daan. Are makadto na lang o di kaya himilek wa. Out of his innocence. Chapter 20 we saw out of his innocence asking Jonathan what he did or what did he do. Nga agin ang mukon isang amay mo. Ari nagkadto sa sa kay Ahimelech nga butik. He ran in various places. It is his desperate move. Wala sa kapalukon ng imuon niya. Nagbinutig siya. If we look it into ourselves, we face our problems, we face our frustrations. We somehow ask, where will my solution? O diin mga galing akong solusyon sa mga bagay ng amuni. David ran, David ran. Nagbutig. Kag sa pagpadayon dira, hindi lang siya nagbutig. Nagkadto pa siya sa gat na kung sa diin dito nagaistar si Gulayat, no? Nangita pa siya sa refuge sa iyang uh, kontra, uh, sa kontraya nga lugar. Pero before that, nagasturya, na ipagin sila ni, ni Ahimelech, no? Now, a certain man of servants of Saul was there that day, detained before the Lord. His name was to egg that idumay. May loyal pa nga servant si Saul. Then David said to Ahimelech, Makadto ko sa secret mission, nagbutig siya, pero ang bali ang wala ko ispada, may ara ka da ispada. Tutuot na ginambal sa mga nagkakapati, ang mga sa mga teacher ko, no? Kadto ka sa kilang, nakabulpen, kadto ka sa war, wala ka ispada, kadto ka sa ano, wala ka pusil. Si David, nagkadto, nagbutig, secret mission ko, no? Why siya pusil, why siya ispada, dala? Are yun, bali, Melek, are yun? May ispada din, ang ispada, nagulayat, higit patay mo. Kag nabatian ni Dueg di Idumay, ako sa diin, alagad o servant ni Saul. And David rose, verse 10, nalagyo siya, nagkato siya sa kay Akish King, King of God. Hindi ni siya si David doon, uh, King sang Israel, are di sao. Nga rin di saan? King isang Israel. Kag si David took these words to the heart, was much afraid. First time, si David nakafeel fear, nakafeel afraid. Kag nagpretend siya nga gabinu, ang lang siya. He went there to seek protection from his enemy's uh, refuge or from his enemy's place. He wavered. Irony to what we see in chapter 17, no? The people of God knew He is the King. Pero sa chapter 17, nakita natin, He win over the Philistines. He win over Goliath. Pero ari siya, sa lugar sang iya kontra, nagapangayo uli. Kaya nagpatahin, no? Chapter 22, David found stronghold or refuge or fortress sa Moab. Yet there, the prophet God reminded him that his, his, or confronted him during his down times, wavering his faith, his trust in the Lord, that his stronghold who can left, or who can, who can, who can help him out of, out of his anxiety and trembling and fear, is not in Moab. Ang balsang iya ni God sa verse 20, chapter 22 verse 5 balik to sa Judah. Hindi ka diya, hindi ka diri. Ginremind siya, ginggamit si God para i-confront, ginggamit sa ginoo si God para i-confront si David. Hindi di mo refugee. Dito ka, balik ka sa ginoo. He lied to the priest he relied his protection from his previous opponents. Even sixth position in Philistino. Again, Ariel, sa verse, sa last phrase, o sa last paragraph, sa chapter 21, David took these words. David departed, chapter 22, escaped and 
go to cave Adulam. Did to no? All who were in distress, all who were in debt, all who are who are bitter in soul, gathered. Kagin consider nila si David ng commander. Nami sa feeling ni David. Na naos sa mga wabing kigan sa God. Balik to balik balik. Hindi kati. And in chapter 22, beginning in verse 6, Saul was so threatened about David on his throne and caused murder to people who feel was with David and who was loyal to him. Nagkato siya kaya ni Lek, nabatian niya, ginsugid siya ni, ni, ni Dueg. He killed all the house of Ahimelech. As he opposed God's servant, he already opposes the Lord. This valiant king described in chapter 11 murders suddenly become a murderer in chapter 22 through an Edomite. In Sugu, you know, Patcha. Saul insists his own and refuses to accept God's guidance to Israel. That's what the tormenting soul does to those who made themselves as king. However, so chapter, so verse 20, so chapter 22, but one of the sons of Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub, named Abiathar, escaped and fled after David. And in verse 23, it struck me a lot. Stay with me, do not be afraid, for he who seeks my life, seeks your life, with me you shall be in safe keeping. Kabalunas David, sa time nga nagato siya kay Mehilek, patsyon ni sila, nagkatuko to, consequence ni David. And I remember the Psalm 25, no? Naging sulat ni David. Ang Psalm 25. Psalm 25. This Psalm of David in distress and affliction, he pleads for God's wisdom and leading. And on verse 17, some verse 25. At uh, verse 17, some chapter 25, some The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Clearly, in what we have discussed, discussed today, God's direction is obscure to David. You know, oh, my troubles of my heart are enlarged. Verse 1, uh, verse, chap verse 2, To you I lift up my soul, O oh my, oh my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. As Saul pursues him, we saw in his desperate situation, in, he prayed for protection. He needs guidance in verses 4 to 7 and forgiveness. Make me to make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Ginuway ko ba lo? Nga aginaamu ko ni Saul. Nga patsyon niya gid ko, buligi ko. Teach me your ways. And 8 to 15, he declares there to whom he believes. God and good and upright is the Lord. He leads me, he leads the humble in what is right. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness. Wala ka ba si David kung ano ang direction siya sa ginoo? Wala ka ba si David kung diin sa makad to? And throughout the week, noong muna akong ginabatsyag man, ginoo, the end it ko bala. Mas kwila pa ko bala. Ma, padayon pa ko sa ministry mo bala. Mano ko gino man. Dari ko sa bakulod na gatinir, nagkaka-frustrate ko gino. Oh. Wala ang ins. Wala ko kwaon. Pero Ari, si David, nagpangayong bulig si gino. Out of his distress, out of his uh, afflict, or out of his Enemy nga ginapursu siya. Nag-declare siya kung kasi no siya nagato. 16 to 22, he feels trouble. A mighty man who slaughtered Goliath and a known victor over 10,000. 
voicing out to the Lord about his troubled heart. The troubles of my heart are enlarged, Lord. To whom we put our trust? To whom we put our trust? Verse 20 of chapter 25 says, Oh, guard my, my, oh, oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Ari si David, valiant warrior, victorious warrior. Nagapangayok buli sa ginoo. To whom we put our trust. From the Abrahamic covenant, no? They put their trust in the Lord as they go into the promised land where He will become great. Wala sa abalo, no? And si Moses nag-trust man sa ginoo that the Lord will deliver them from the hands of Egyptians or Pharaoh who hardened his heart to God's chosen people. The pursuit of Saul to the chosen King David was certainly senseless and troublesome for David. For David is said to be the king of Israel. And through him, through David, Israel will receive blessing. This is a foreshadow of Christ being pursued by people who were in the synagogues with unreasonably actions yet reasonably known and experienced mercy by a lowly people in Israel. Ari, si David kina pursue ni Saul. Si Jesus Christ gin pursue man sa mga Pharisees, sa mga Sadducees, sa king, si King Herod, pat chon pa ni ang mga baby to. Yet, those who were low, those who were in distress, those who were in debt, nakilala siya. Lame person. Sick person. Those who were lowly people in Israel received mercy. The big difference is Christ was delivered into the hands of enemies through His death. We received and provided by an eternal protection and keeping us into the hands of our enemies. Sin. We never di tagi gusto nakita ang king sa hulingon o may, mag, may maghul sa aton kabuhi. But only through Christ, through, through Christ kingship, we receive deliverance. The Lord was with David Sa, sa last chapter sa Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Sa last chapter dira. Verse 19 to 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. David put his trust in the Lord. The Lord protected him. We put our trust in Christ. Ambalya, I am with you always to the end of age. Makabian, we always have the trait of King Saul. Who were in doubt? Who were jealous, envy, suspicious sa mga isa, sa isa isa What they have, what is their status? Nami iya work, nami iya relationship, nami iya family. And by that time, we put our trust in ourselves. We will be blinded. And we will do things unreasonably. We want to control our own selves. Something we see on other people and we have not. But today, we are to put our trust in the Lord. 
We are to trust. We must stood in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us. He is the blessing. That's why mabatian kong kanta, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Sa time ako wiri, ikaw ang akong rock and my redeemer. No rock is like our God. No rock is like our God. Our trust belongs to Him. Our trust belongs to Him. David trusts the Lord. The Lord is with him. We trust in Christ. And behold, He is with us forever. Ito po mag-ita? Ginoo, salamat sa iyo mga minsan. Salamat sa life ni David na kung sa diin, maski naging obscure ang iadalan, ginoo. He wrote the Psalm 25. He wrote Psalm 25. Out of his distress, ginoo. Teach us our path. Teach us your path sa amon kabuhi. And in him, magadayre kay Christ na kung sa diin, magapadayin kami sa imong salik, magapadayin kami sa pag-ubra sa amon ministries. Kaya ikaw magatag flourish. Salamat, Stanan. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen.